Tactical aviation is considered one of the key areas of the Russian Air Force. It includes dozens of fighters, attack planes, and bombers in service since the last century. However, the continuous race with America for supremacy in the sky and the appearance of the latter's fifth-generation planes made Russia think about creating an aircraft capable of resisting the rival, the F-35. So recently, the world saw the Su-57, which domestic developers promised success not only at home but also abroad. So today, we'll talk about the future of the Russian fighter, the difficulties encountered by its designers, as well as the pace of development of the project. Here is military news. Let's go. The Su-57, codenamed T-50 and nicknamed by NATO Felon, was conceived as a heavy, multi-role fighter capable of replacing the Su-27. The requirements for the aircraft of the future, as well as the first developments, appeared in the 1990s. Two Soviet design bureaus, Sukhoi and Mikoyan, worked on such projects as the Burkut Su-47 and MiG-1.44. Both, however, were never completed, mostly due to lack of funding and the rather tense situation in the country. But despite their sad fate, the prototypes have made a significant contribution to the development of the T-50 because it was on them were worked out some of the many technologies used today on the fifth generation. In 2002, they started talking about the creation of a modern machine again. The development of the large-scale project was assigned to Sukhoi Design Bureau. Only two years later, the mock-up of the future aircraft was presented and by 2010 began flight tests in the sky over Komsa Mosque on Amur, where incidentally was the assembly of the prototypes. The solemn presentation of the novelty was held in 2019 at the air show MAX 2019 in Sukhovsky near Moscow. An export prototype, the Su-57E, was put on display for the public to see, which immediately attracted the attention of foreign partners. In the same year, the vehicle went into series production. The Ministry of Defense announced the delivery of 76 units by 2028, the first four of which were to enter the Eastern Military District already in 2021. News reports in the country were full of information about this, but the year came to an end and we've still not seen the planes. However, Russia, like other countries, rarely meets its deadlines. But let's go into more detail about the characteristics of the deadly machine. It's designed according to the integral scheme, where the wing flows smoothly into the fuselage, which produces 40% more lifting force. You might have seen a similar design on the Russian MiG-29 or our hero's predecessor, the Su-27. But unlike the latter, the Felon has one-piece keels and a surface above the air intakes. Also, as expected, it's designed with an open architecture that allows you to reduce the burden on the pilot and focus on specific tactical tasks. The fuselage is made of 70% wear-resistant composite materials and polymer carbon plastics, reducing the weight by four times. The equipment of a new generation fighter includes a small-sized radar with an active phased array, a funny name, Belka. It allows tracking up to 62 targets simultaneously at a range of 400 kilometers. An important difference from previous radar models is its placement along the perimeter of the entire aircraft design instead of the usual installation of a single unit. The Belka is completed by the Himalaya Electronic Warfare System, which is integrated with the side of the aircraft and serves as a smart cladding. For free flight and poor visibility conditions on the fighter is installed in several systems and sensors that allow for multi-layered display and apply additional reality. Thus, in a smoke-covered area, for example, the systems finish the topography and other ground objects. Improvements have affected not only the aircraft itself, but also the pilot's equipment. So the pilot received a protective helmet, ZSH-10, made of organoplastic, which houses the targeting system, night vision goggles, and various filters. In addition to it, there's an oxygen mask, KM-36M, as well as two suits, overload suit, PPK-7, and high-altitude compensating suit, VKK-17. Another novelty is the catapult seat, K-36D5, which provides the pilot with an emergency escape from the cabin at an altitude up to 25 kilometers and a speed of 1,300 kilometers an hour. One of the most difficult aspects of the creation of the aircraft was the engine. The new generation aircraft required a more powerful propulsion system, which in the early 2000s Russia simply didn't have. 
That's why the first models were equipped with twin turbojet engines of the first stage called Isdeli 117 AL-41F1. We can see them on other Russian airships such as the Su-35s or the Su-30CM. In the winter of 2017, the long-awaited development called Isdeli-30 did appear. Such an engine had an oxygen-free ignition system installed on upgraded nozzles, thanks to which the fuel was ignited immediately after entering the combustion chamber. In addition, the second stage engine had a new nozzle with a thrust vector control function, and the electronic digital control system of Product 30 greatly simplifies the pilot's work and facilitates the engine tuning process. The service life of such an engine is 40 years. True, now it's only a prototype, but by 2025, it's planned to equip the entire series. According to the statements of designers, Felon is capable of speeds up to supersonic speeds of Mach 2.4, which while I do not believe, it's worth recalling that its predecessor does not exceed Mach 2, and the famous American analog F-35 has a speed of even less, 1.6 Mach. As for range, depending on the speed mode, Su-57 will be able to overcome from 2 to 4,000 kilometers. The aircraft is capable of carrying a little over 10 tons of missiles, which are kept inside the fuselage to maintain stealth. Among the most dangerous missiles we should mention the K-77M air-to-air -air missiles. They can overcome up to 190 kilometers, and the AFAR radar significantly improves their accuracy and is a distinct advantage over the American equivalent of the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile JATO. The R-73 missile, one of the best for close combat, can do no less damage to the enemy. With its infrared seeker, it can reach targets from 300 meters to 40 kilometers at 2,500 kilometers per hour, plus its ability to withstand 40 GPAs compared to 12 GPAs of fighters gives the enemy no chance to dodge. The aircraft is not limited to intra-fuselage armament and has six points of external suspension. On them are attached missiles K-37 with a range of 300 kilometers, radar KH-58, a range of 245 kilometers, as well as X-38ME designed for 40 kilometers. The missiles can be replaced by different types of bombs such as Grom E-2, Cab 500S, Cab 250LG. And of course, the Su-57 cannot do without the cannon, as which is installed here is extremely popular GSH-301. The 30mm gun is capable of firing up to 1,500 rounds per minute. But the real trump card of the fifth generation was the ability of the fighter to work together with the unmanned bomber Hunter. Russian media even claim that the Su-57 will be able to control not just one, but a whole group of drones. However, such a complex system will require the participation of a co-pilot, for which there's no room in the cockpit yet. It's difficult to say how much demand for the new Russian aircraft will be. Turkey, Algeria, and Peru are among potential buyers. Earlier on the list was another country, India. It was planning to get several jets in the course of joint development, but later it withdrew from the project as it began to doubt the performance of the aircraft, in particular the timing of delivery of modern engines. In addition, the country wanted to buy a two-seat model, which the Russian designers initially rejected. In general, despite the strong criticism from Western experts, the Su-57 still has several advantages, among which, for example, the price. One copy is estimated at $30 million, which is several times less than the cost of the American model. And in general, not counting the controversial issue with the engine, which is about to go into mass production, Felon is quite consistent with the characteristics of its generation. And what do you think about Russian development? Leave your thoughts on this in the comments below, give likes and subscribe so as to not miss the next review.